Welcome everyone to 7 Minutes or Less, talking about the shows you love or want to get into. Today we will be talking about The Expanse Season 2. With Season 2 reviews of shows I'm covering, I spoil the first season's finale, but leave the second season vague as I review it. Allows me to talk about the next season to come. With that said, stick around to the end, give me a comment as to what you think of this show. If you love it, like it, or dislike, I would love to know. With that said, I'm going to dive right on in. Season 2 of The Expanse picks up right where it left off. Miller, trying to find Julie Mal, finds himself with the crew of the Rocinante. Naomi, Alex, James, and Amos, since Season 1, had been trying to find out who had been responsible for destroying the last two ships they had been a part of, the Canterbury and the Donager. Christian follows the breadcrumbs of stealth tech being used and begins to uncover a conspiracy. While Christian's character stays on Earth, the rest of the storylines merge together creating a bigger problem, where the entire conspiracy is heading. Nefarious plot details from head officials and scientists creating something that would revolutionize the technology as they know it and start a war from the already tension-filled situation between Earth and Mars. The protomolecule is tested on a colonized asteroid called Eros. That becomes the main focus for the latter half of Season 1 and then goes into Season 2. With that... That's basically the gist of Season 2 as the story unfolds. The conspiracy unravels even more when a small group of Martians led by a character named Bobby gets mixed in the crosshairs of all of this. We'll definitely get into her character later. The Expand Season 2 takes what strengths it had from Season 1 and expanded upon it. The writing is strengthened, the characterization is to die for, and what characters I was just alright with in Season 1 were bumped up to a reasonable means of I care about all of them now. Favorite characters go to Alex, the pilot of the Rosinante, and as he is quick on his feet, resourceful and dependable, he is hilarious. Amos, the ship's mechanic, who has a dog-eat-dog -dog point of view and can be violent with the simple mentality that he abides by, he's very awesome to watch. Christian is probably, and absolutely, my favorite, and there's so much to speak on about her, but the best I can say about her is how no-nonsense she is with everyone around her. The story in this season follows what the protomolecule is capable of after it infects Eros. It is also tested by another means that I won't give away here, but it involved Bobby Draper and her crew. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't like Draper at first. She was a real warhead, pushing for what she was trained to do by the Martian fleet. But... When her crew falls victim to something she can't quite explain, it brings her to the radar of Christian and everybody's personalities come out. So I ultimately didn't like Draper at first, but then she grew on me. And what she goes through, she handles it well and then learns as time goes on. I said in my season one review that this is one of the more pure sci-fi shows with strict sci-fi, no fantasy, and focuses on technology, culture, way of life, and so on and so forth. Season 2 continues that, getting deeper into its own mythos. I can genuinely say while the first season took a bit for me to get into, the second has plot elements that do sort of blindsight me as new things to focus on. I don't know if that happened that way for you, but if you've seen the season and, you know, it, you were fine with it, then that's great. But for me, it confused me a little bit until I watched further and understood more. In the end... I absolutely loved this season. A lot more memorable than the first and set up enough to just have me intrigued for the third season. For that, I'm going to give The Expanse Season 2 an A. A lot stronger, great character developments between new and characters we know, and the story gets richer and richer, bolder and bolder with every episode. All right, everyone, have you seen The Expanse Season 2 or even seen Season 1? If you've seen it, let me know down in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, please like, comment, and share, and above all else, subscribe. And with all that said, I hope you have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.